Okay, so our group was in charge of showing uh, how carbohydrates are made and also the interactions that they have. So carbohydrates are a main source of energy for the body, uh, especially in the form of starches, uh, sugars, and other uh, things. So there are three main types of carbohydrates. Uh, first, we have monomers, which are also called just saccharides. For example, glucose here uh, is a monosaccharide and is used to create uh, disaccharides and polysaccharides. We also have disaccharides, like I mentioned before, such as maltose, which are a more complicated form of these. And finally, we have uh, polysaccharides, which are polymers of these glucose and other uh, uh, monomers, which come together to form things such as starch, glycogen, and cellulose. All right, so carbohydrates follow a basic structure of C, H2, and O. So for, there are pentosis and hexosis, and in this case here we have a hexose called glucose. So glucose is an exceedingly common um, hexose, and it's actually an aldehyde sugar, so they're called aldohexose. Um, conversely, uh, something like fructo fructose would be a ketone sugar, so that would be a ketohexose. So these six carbon aldohexose actually form cyclic hemiacetals. Um, ke ke ketones form hemiacetals. So what these hemiacetals do are, they're basically the cyclic structure instead of being the open chain. And that's part of the reason why glucose is such a common molecule in living organisms. Because the open chain structure is reactive as the molecule will react with the amine group of proteins, which leads to a reaction called glycation. Okay. So what glycation does, it ends up destroying the function or impairing the function of these proteins. And that actually, you, you see it in diabetes when diabetes sufferers um, suffer from retinal blindness. It's just one of the complications because the, the lipids and proteins in the eye are actually affected by open chain glucose non, um, by open chain glucose reacting with the proteins. So here we have um, a, mono, a monomer. It's a monosaccharide of glucose. And you can see the you can see the down, down, up, down structure of it. And we're going to bond it with this other uh, glucose. So uh, before we go into the bonding, actually, I just would like to talk a little bit about our model. So our model was, uh, we wanted it to be 3D because, again, glucose has this down, down, up, down structure, which is in 3D. And um, so we have, uh, what we've done is these gumdrops represent carbon in our model, and what we've done is the red ones are meant to represent uh, the uh, carbons where the hydroxide is down, and the orange ones are the ones where they're up. And finally, uh, because we were running out of some of the gumdrops, we had to use other colored gumdrops for the carbon on this group. And um, yeah, and what we like to notice now is a uh, reaction between two of these. So if we have uh, two glucose, like this, they can undergo a dehydration reaction to form a polysaccharide, or uh, disaccharide. So you will lose the uh, hydroxyl group from the uh, You'd lose the hydroxyl the group one, from this one. Uh, the first, and then you lose the hydrogen from the four. And we can now add a bond between the five, or the four carbon here, and the one carbon here, which is a one to four bond. And um, another thing that we'd like to know is now that you have water formed after that, okay, which is shown here. So this, is a, so this is a basic disaccharide that we've created, and then what happens now is um, from these disaccharides we can create uh, polymers such as starch, which is when uh, three or more of these glucose molecules are put together. So, so here you see maltose, and starch is basically like repeating units of maltose in a sense. So again we have it starting from one connected to the four of the other. That should be with the <laughs> yeah, I got it. So this is uh, again a starch molecule, and starch is very important in our diets. Uh, we consume a lot of it through things such as cereal uh, and other grains. Which uh, and these star the starch when it enters our body is broken down by our digestive system through a uh, hydrolysis reaction. When a water uh, water molecule comes up to this, this bond is broken, and now the hydrogen is added to this, and an OH group is added to this. So that's the basic uh, way that we create. Uh, that's how we digest starch in our body, to so make it into monomers, which are then easily used in our body for uh, energy processing. Right. So when starch is digested in our body, we actually convert it to a different polysaccharide of glucose called glycogen. Right. right so. so now we're going to show uh, glycogen. So 
we have the basic starch polymer, polymer right? And now what we're going to do is we're going to bond this to another starch. So what we do is we have this, and we want to bond, bond the fifth carbon over here by taking out the OH. And we're going to bond this to the one over here. Like that. And so now we have glycogen, and there would be a longer strand. So there would be more uh, glucose is going outwards like this. And when you have glycogen, you can have one of these coming off, or you can have multiple of these coming off. It doesn't really matter. So uh, glycogen is just taking a basic starch polymer and adding other starch polymers to it. And now, finally, we'd like to talk a little bit about uh, cellulose, which is what plants make with glucose. So in cellulose, what we have is instead of this, um, instead of this structure, instead of just a single one to four bond, what we do is these the middle one is flipped. So take this out. So if you can imagine this being flipped, and then we bond. What you end up with is an alternation of this major chain here, like from this sixth, fifth carbon, which you will see as shallow flips them over. Okay, so now what we have to do is, now to show the full effect of what cellulose can do is, we have to make another one of these polymers, so we have this, uh, we have this glucose over here, and we're going to create another, or we have this glucose and we're going to try to make another cellulose. So. 